So guys, we have the full list of the CSS that have been nominated by the president. And if you have an overview, I can take you through the list of the latest CSS as nominated by the president, CS Labor, Alfred Mutua, CS Energy, Opi Wandahi, CS Mining, Hassan Joho, CS Sports, Kipchumba Murkomen, CS Treasury, John Buddy, CS Cooperatives, Wycliffe Oparanya, CS Tourism, um, Rebecca Miano, and the CS Public Service, Justin Muturi. So if you will have an overview of the lists of the names that have been given or proposed by the president, it is clear. It is now out in the public, the cut is out of the bag, that we are heading towards a government of national unity. There is no two way about it. The names that we, have, we are seeing here, big wigs in the opposition, the likes of Opi Wandai, who is now the current minority leader, now will be the CS Energy, a very big docket. Uh, we have uh, someone like Hassan Joho, the former governor of um, Mombasa, County 001. Now the CS of Mining. We have um, uh, John Bardi, who was the uh, part of the ODM leadership in, uh, in, in the parliament. Now we have, uh, he's going to, this, to be the CS Treasury. Very big docket again. And then we have Weekly for Paranya former two-term governor of Kakamega, now the CS of cooperatives. So the list is telling us that we are heading towards a government of national unity, a government that uh, has the cooperation of the opposition and the government of the day. We have all the hallmarks of ODM being part of this. We know that uh, other members of Azimio were jittery about it, and it is clear from that list that no other member from the, from the Azimio fraternity except ODM were party to this. We are not seeing any wiper uh, signs here. We are not seeing any jubilee signs here. We are not seeing any other party that was affiliate of the Azimio except the ODM party. And that is why maybe you are seeing uh, the likes of Kalonzo Musioka the likes of uh, Mother Karua coming out and clearly stating their position that they are not going to be part of this conversation. So it is likely that William Ruto engaged Raila Odinga alone to make up this decision to whip some of his members to be part of this government of national unity. The question remains, is this going to quell down the, the political uh, protests that have been going on across the country. We know that the young people have been out there uh, demonstrating and protesting of accountability and saying that the president should resign. All these efforts that the president is putting forward are designed to quell down these unrests that have shown themselves to be uh, a hallmark of a new kind of a conversation in the country. If I look at uh, someone like Alfred Mutua, he's coming back. Previously was uh, also in the in the other government, uh, in the other cabinet. Then we have uh, someone like uh, uh, someone like Kipchumba Murkomen, who was who had all these issues. In fact, if there was one person who was the hallmark of everyone being removed as a cabinet secretary, was Kipchumba Murkomen. And now Kipchumba Murkomen is back as the cabinet secretary in charge of sports. I don't know how people are going to take that, but of course, many are not going to take that lightly. The president has been um, told that he should listen to the people. I, I am not sure if that will count as listening to the people or taking the popular way. One thing we know that the president is trying to get the numbers in parliament. He is trying to get the numbers also in the population. He knows that there are, going, there, are, there are people who are going to be disgruntled either way. Whether you benefit one side or you benefit the other, people are going to be disgruntled. He has chosen, I can say, I can call this the easier and political path to make sure that you get 
part of your of your of your of your position inside government so that you can lead a government that ha still has some ounce of opposition because other members of the Azimio party were not uh, party to this but then again the ODM is the opposition party with a lot of members if you are looking at uh, the big wigs here Raila Odinga Rigathi Gashagwa and and William Ruto we are going to find also some relationship differences you remember it was uh, Rigathi Gashagwa who said that Raila Odinga should not step anywhere close to the state house of course we knew what he was meaning that Raila Odinga should never be part of the government that he is in but right now Raila Odinga is inside the state house there is no doubt about that Raila Odinga is inside the state house he has a very big stake in this government the cabinet secretary of energy the cabinet secretary of treasury the cabinet secretary of uh, cooperatives very very important dockets have gone to Raila Odinga's uh, party the ODM party so this is a clear sign that there will be relationship differences how will the uh, the deputy president relate to uh, to William Ruto the president how will the deputy president relate to um, Raila Odinga we know that Rigathi has been out there saying that the government has shares and has shareholders and these shareholders have to be the part of this government well now it seems the shareholding has increased uh, its portfolio and we have so many people now cutting that cake so that is going to be something that uh, we are going to keep tabs on about the rhetoric that the deputy president is going to come up with we know that he he came out castigating the the, the intelligence service and Nordin Haji and everything but then again the president has played whatever he has played i'm sure he also had a hand in 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 uh, picking a few css for the first lot we can see we can see this is a is a cabinet of three big wigs we cannot even claim that musalia mudavadi has a very big hand or wetangula has a very big hand in this we can see by the overview of this that it is a cabinet that has three major hands rigathi gashagwa William Samoy Ruto and Raila Odinga. Going forward, the Gen Zs are going to respond to this. Already, we have chatter of a lot of disgruntlement out there. People are saying that uh, this is the same same thing that we had before and has come to haunt us. That we are still seeing uh, these important dockets being given to political allies. The reason why people went to the streets is because of uh, positions being given to allies. Someone like Kipchumba Murkomen, very good ally of uh, William Ruto. Someone like Alice Wahome, an ally to Rigathi Gashagwa. Someone like John Badi, an ally to Raila Odinga. That they are now running ministries. The president is going to bank on this added support from the ODM party to make sure that they they whip uh, numbers to quell down the protests also the president is going to look forward to all these cabinet secretaries to work as they should work to deliver on his agenda one thing we know is that it is likely that the plan the official agenda of the kenya kwanza regime is going to be changed a bit because now you are bringing in new faces who are opposing those ideas we are going to see uh, Raila Odinga also getting involved so much in government, as well as this is a clear indication that Raila Odinga will not be on the ballot come 2027. He cannot be on the ballot while he is part of the government. Anything that the government will do from now, anything, any mistake that the government will get in, will not only be implicated on William Ruto, on Rigathi Gashagwa, it will also be implicated on Raila Odinga. So this is a clear sign that in 2027 it is likely that we are going to have uh, William Ruto against uh, Kalonzo Musyoka. And this is also a clear sign that the votes in uh, Western region, the votes in Nyanza region are starting to be coalesced together. 
against uh, any other opposition that will come in that will spear William Ruto towards the second regime.